This is my Lego Mindstorms RCX from the late 90s. I found this in my attic four years ago, asked my dad if I could have it, and he said yes. I turned it on and I used to put some bad news in it and I used the demo programs and they all seemed to work, but then I kind of wanted to write my own programs. The way you're supposed to do that is with this IR thing that plugs into your computer serial port. Of course, it was 2016, my computer didn't have a serial port, so I bought a cheap USB serial adapter, plugged it in, and discovered that the software didn't like 64-bit Windows 10. So I ran a ton of different old operating systems in a VM, from all the way from Windows NT4 all the way up to Windows 10 32-bit. All of them ran the software, but none of them were able to reliably communicate with this. At the time, I thought it was some kind of driver or hardware problem, but now I suspect it was my USB serial adapter not being able to provide enough power. Since then, I have obtained this. It's a fairly generic pre-built from 2013, except for one thing, which is that it has an actual, real serial port. Look who came to help me with this video. I'm hoping that this machine can be the ticket towards getting this setup working. The first thing I have to do is enable the serial port in the BIOS because I think it's disabled by default. And it is now set to COM1, so let's exit boot into Windows and make sure it shows up. Look, I can now properly screen record. Anyway, I'm just going to check and make sure it shows up in Device Manager. And there we go, COM1. So I can get out the included software and insert it into the optical drive, which this computer conveniently still has. So I have the contents of the CD here. I'm just going to try installing it as it is on the 64-bit copy of Windows. Wow, this is actually further than I remember getting four years ago. Oh, that's more like it. Actually, I seem to remember the same thing happening last time now that I think about it more clearly. It seems to want an old version of QuickTime that relies on a 16-bit installer. I mean, we can try to run it anyway and see what happens. Okay, that's not surprising. I thought about trying to find a 32-bit, fully 32-bit version of that old QuickTime, but I think it would be easier to just do it on a 32-bit version of Windows that supports 16-bit apps. I tried installing a slightly newer version of the Mindstorm software that I found online, and it ultimately failed as well. Let's set up a 32-bit copy of Windows in a VM and see if that works. So, the moment of truth. Will the program work?
and yes, the video and the sound are out of sync, even at the time it's not caused by the screen recording. By the way, get used to more of these delightfully 90s sound effects. There will be more of them. Welcome to the LEGO Mindstorms Robotics Invention System. You are entering Guided Mode. Guided Mode takes you on a tour of the LEGO Mindstorms Robotics Invention System, provides two-part instructions in setting up your RCX and infrared transmitter hardware, and takes you through training center missions to learn how to program robots. When you see a flashing button, click it to continue. Sky is no longer the limit. The only limit is the power of your mind, your intuition, and your imagination. At this moment, you're about to step into a whole new world of technology. Challenges that draw on all your creativity, insight, and imagination. Welcome to LEGO Mindstorms and the Robotics Invention System. LEGO Mindstorms puts the power of robotics at your command, providing new ways to apply technology with creativity, understanding, and confidence. You can build and program robotic inventions that move and think on their own. They can be what I am now attempting to install the slightly newer version of the software that still wouldn't run under Windows 10, but uh, hopefully that runs better under 32-bit. Oh boy, I have to see this demo video. No, I do not want Quick Time 4 Pro. Oh, there it is. That was a bit disappointing. Kind of expected more. So now we find out if the new version works. Yep, run. Welcome to the Robotics Invention System. You have completed Whoa. software installation. Before you can begin using the Robotics Invention System, you need to set up your infrared tower and download firmware. To start this process, click the forward button. Look, it's working. I can even see the IR lights. That's kind of neat. By the way, the infrared lights there, I can't see them with my eyes. I can only see them on the camera. If the firmware downloaded correctly, the display on your RCX should now look like this. If it does not, click the back button and try downloading the firmware again.
Congratulations, you have completed installation and hardware setup. Click the forward button to begin using your LEGO Mindstorms robotics invention system. Robots are taking us to places we have never been before, letting us understand things in new ways, helping us expand the limits of our imagination. At this moment, you're about to enter a new world where the power of technology meets the power of your mind. Welcome to LEGO Mindstorms and the Robotics Invention System. The Robotics Invention System lets you build and program robots that do what you want robots that go where you want them to go see what you want them to see and be whatever you want them to be the only limit is your ingenuity and imagination the robotics invention system has over 700 lego pieces including sensors motors gears and more use pieces from your other sets too the system features the RCX, a LEGO microcomputer that acts as the brain of your inventions. The RCX takes input from sensors, then it activates motors to drive the robot's behavior. The robotics invention system includes a Constructopedia with project ideas, step-by-step -step instructions, special features, and tips and tricks. Start off with training missions, here, you'll learn how to create programs for your robot using RCX code, a simple, powerful programming language. Next, download the program to the RCX with an infrared beam. Now, your robot is independent of your computer. Let it loose and see what happens. Once you've mastered the basics, you can move on to the challenges and pro challenges, where you'll design and build robots that will take you to a new level of intelligence and performance. For new ideas and inspiration, go to the LEGO Mindstorms website, where you'll discover thousands of inventions, advanced building and programming tips, and special missions and competitions. Join the LEGO Mindstorms community by creating your own web page and sharing your inventions with others around the world. Once you begin exploring the robotics invention system, you'll find that the possibilities are endless. LEGO Mindstorms and the robotics invention system, the power of robotics at your command. Welcome to the LEGO Mindstorms Robotics Invention System. Click Missions to get started. I apologize for pointing the camera at the screen, but it now works. I can send programs. See the IR lights blinking? There we go, and I can run them. I have written a very simple test program here. The problem is that these wires are very frayed and so they don't really work that reliably and it's really easy to accidentally short them. But eh, it kind of works. I've also been looking into either buying some replacement cables like this or some adapters like this that allow me to use NXT parts with the old RCX.